Hey guys, this is your Trust of Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about upcoming potential tropical storm Josephine. Uh, you do see here the National Hurricane Center does have a disturbance highlighted. It is Invest 95L. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather related content. Hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, please share this with your friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. This is the National Hurricane Center website. We do have a disturbance highlighted Invest 95 hours. as I said. It has a 40% chance to develop through 48 hours and a 50% chance to develop through 5 days. It does indicate conditions are likely to become less conductive for development late this week, meaning it may not reach U.S. mainland. Let's get right into the models. Intensity guidance for 95L is um, pretty spread out. We only have three models, and at this current time, I will update you later once this actually forms, if it does form. There is a chance it doesn't, um, and that's completely fine. But you see, every single model goes through at least tropical storm intensity. Um, one model does go into category one intensity. While I do not believe this is likely, it is a very small possibility that could definitely happen. But I do believe this will become at least a low end tropical storm and be named Josephine. Looking at the spaghetti models here, each line is a different path it could take, which is currently forecasted by this model. You do see here that most of them do end up curving eastward not affecting U.S. mainland, while some of them do have it continuing in its general direction towards the southeast. But regardless of affecting the United States or not, it will definitely bring impacts to other islands in the Atlantic. These model tracks here, very unlikely. I do not expect the storm to follow these tracks. However, I will not ignore that possibility. I just don't expect it to follow these tracks here and go into Cuba and the Gulf of Mexico. This is what the GFS wants to happen. You do see here around Wednesday, August 12th, you do see that start to form about tropical depression strength according to the GFS model before continuing and dissipating around August 14th, August 15th and not becoming tropical anymore before Puerto Rico. And then it continues over here and to, towards the Bahamas before eventually affecting Florida and potentially other states, not as a tropical system. That's your trusted weather forecast for upcoming potential tropical storm Josephine. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.